Yeah, so, okay, so basically go and do the other trees, right? And what? Whoa. Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are back in Abduction, and we're going to get right to it, because I think we're going to finish up Captar today, if I'm right. Uh... As I'm running back to the seed swap machine, I just want to tell you because there were two sort of realizations that hit me during the uh, be during the break between episodes, and I'm just going to put them into play now, and I'm pretty sure that's going to correct everything. Now, we tried last time towards the end of the episode to swap in that temple sphere so that we get a corridor between the two doors, right, so that we have this little shortcut. It occurred to me that we really don't need that, and the reason for that is, let's turn it this way. Uh, the reason for that is, remember when we first showed up in that sphere room, when we first got the wooden staircase area, actually just get the swap machine here, whoops, open, open, and swap, okay. So when we first hit that, that wooden staircase area that we then swapped out and started rotating, Remember that there were two, I guess, points of, of entry or two entrances that were connected in that default state. And those entrances were the chain basket going up and down that we rode down in order to get to the, the sphere chamber in the first place. And then the door to uh, the Orion nest that we ended up opening once we rotated the whole thing essentially 270 degrees, I think in order to open that, like, secret underground passage. So it occurred to me... Here we are. I'm just going to keep running and talking to you guys. Uh, it occurred to me that all we really need to do... I mean, we're making this... Well, I'm making this more complicated than necessary. I'm just going to go ahead over there, and I'm going to rotate the entire apparatus by probably another 90 degrees. I think that's going to be enough. And if not, you know, we'll swap it again, and it'll be 180 degrees. But... All we really need to connect up is the doorway to uh, the chain basket going up and down and the Orion nest. Because everything after that is just a shortcut, right? The whole thing about... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not paying attention to you right now, Valane machine, okay? Um, the whole thing about trying to connect up the temple doorway that we opened to the doorway to the Orion nest. I mean, that's helpful. Yeah, see? So let's move it 90 degrees because we twisted it around a lot right in fact we twisted it around to the point where this was facing the original doorway I'll, t I'll, I'll show you what I mean once we get back to the room I'm just gonna swap right now so yeah the other the, the using this the temple sphere would have just made a shortcut that would have been helpful but it's not necessary because we could just use the chain basket okay Swap. The other thing that occurred to me, and I'll show you when we get to the machine, is that uh, when I was thinking about this in the end of the previous episode, I thought, oh, we're going to have to shut down the whole thing. And my immediate concern was, well, that's why we should really swap the sphere, the, so the stone sphere, because we'll need a quick way of going from the temple to the Arai nest. See? Okay, so there's the, ba there's the, the chain basket, right? There's the doorway that leads to the temple. And there is the doorway here, right here, is the doorway that leads to the nest. There it is, there's the nest. Now what we ended up having done is we took this opening and we just rotated all the way around 20, 270 degrees until it was facing there. And with the temple sphere, it was kind of hoped to connect up these two doorways. But again, that's a convenience thing. And we're right here. Right, so if we need to, we can run here. This is where the tree will be, eventually. And if we need to get back to the original seed swap machine, well then, we still have this basket. So I'm going to trigger the basket, and as it goes up, I'm just going to keep talking and, and yammering on. Now, at the end of the previous episode, what I thought and what I was concerned about was we would have to shut down this whole apparatus. Remember, because there's... You basically decouple the crankshaft from this fan right there. Right, 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 stutter, right there, right at the top, right at the hinge, right below the, where the crankshaft actually begins. We could decouple that in theory and just shut down the whole mechanism, but my concern was, well, that'll 
That'll shut down this thing, that'll shut down the other basket, that'll shut down any of this chain stuff, but more importantly, it'll be the, the, the chain baskets that'll get shut down. Well, little did I remember, and I just, it hit me as I was thinking about it, is we have this thing. Let's just stop for a second, let's think about it, and let's look at what exactly is going on here. We looked at this when we first started up the machine. And that goes to the basket. This powers this contraption. This portion powers this uh, chain basket here. And this piston, that's the piston that runs the other side's chain mechanism. So all we have to do in this thing, which allows us, remember, to reconnect or disconnect, is we just need to disconnect this thing. Is it going to work? Yep. So all we need to do is do that, and now in theory, we have shut down this thing's counterpart on the other side, the one in the temple. So let's go back, let's ride the chain basket down, and we will see. There we go. Put the lever. This still works. So this is this is it. Like the, the more the most important thing is we got to shut down one piece of the machinery. Hey without without compromising the entire system, which is helpful. So hopefully this will take us to the tree. And then I think what I want to do is we'll we'll get this going. We'll see if CW has anything to say. Just in case. I'm sure he's gonna yell at us and say, Why well, connect the other trees? You know. But we'll 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 check it out. And then, I mean all that's left is Valain. Uh, is the Valain numbers in Marais. And uh, if you can tell, if you can't tell, I'm trying to kind of not do that this episode because my grand plan really is to devote an entire episode to that thing. So what we might do is if we really have time left over, uh, I might go back and we might at least just start talking about what it looks like and what, what the system is going to work like. And then the next episode will actually do the worksheet itself. And the reason for that is I, I do want to... Uh, a, make it an entire episode, because I think you really do need an entire episode to cover the thing properly. But B, I kind of, here's the thing, you know, I recognize it's math, it's not everybody's cup of tea. And there we are. Check that out. And we're through. Go anywhere here. No. Look around here, and I bet that we're about to get to the tree. Oop, graphical stutter. Obviously, I'm going to the tree... Check that out. All right, gang, let's go downstairs. So the reason I also I want to make the, the Valain number thing its own episode is I want, you know, math is not everybody's cup of tea, so I, I kind of want to make it optional if you're watching this whole series so that you can skip that episode. And yeah, okay, maybe you're going to be lost on the actual mathematics, you know, Valain number puzzles. They get turned around. All right, this is what happens when I navigate... You know, a giant passageway in a tree. That happened. That place that got me turned around? Please tell me I'm not going up anymore. No, I'm going up again. What is going on? Alright, guys. Stop. Okay, there we go. Yeesh. It's like, um... There's a literary reference for it, but I don't know what. It's basically, you know, like a, a, a bubble of... <laughs> well, there we are. All right, dollars to donuts that that's the door to, to Unrath. But now we know what we're doing here, so let's just go ahead and open the water. There we go. And this is what I was talking about last time. This is CW's, like, mechanical contraption stuff, which... Okay. Right. There it goes. And it's going up in electricity or the voltage or whatever. Generating energy. Alright, so this is not Honrath, but let's just see. Okay, so that's the... That's Murray. That's the Valain homeworld. We can just see the tree. Okay. And then this is going to be... I keep trying to call it Saria, but is, is that what it's called? I can't remember. I, I I have to go back and reread the notes on the uh, on the Mofang, and obviously the hose is coming from our friends in Hunrath. And check it out, it's just a regular doorway now, or you know, like an open doorway. Here we go. 
Boom. And we're back in Honrath. Awesome. Okay. So, let's just check one thing here. Can't use that. But, obviously the voltage is much higher now. Because now we have two trees. Okay. And none of these work yet. No, none of them work. Alright, so let's get out of here. Let's go talk to CW real quick and see what he has to yell, it about, uh, yell about at us with, uh, with respect to these trees. So yeah, so I think what we're... Th that's probably the plan, right? Is we're going to go see him. He's going to tell us, you know, what are you doing here? You have work to do. You know, get, get off your uh, lazy bohunkuses, if we will. And then we'll go. We'll just go check out the uh, the Valane number machine and just maybe not even start poking around. But I kind of want to look at the sheet again. I've, I've I need to remember what is written on there, and then we can talk about the rules generally. And then the next episode we'll do the full workout. So here we go. Hmm. Lay tracks. Weird. I could have sworn that was just like a gap. We should go check that out. Um, all right, I'm, you know, again, I'm guessing that CW is not going to have much of anything to tell us because his instructions were vague and sounded like they could probably cover quite a lot of what we would be doing. What? Huh? Folks hear that? That he's like typing some stuff up. All right. Let's interrupt his memoirs over here. Well, that was to be expected. We got yelled at. But, uh, yeah, we're not connecting anything for you, CW, okay? Uh... Wait a minute. That's... What the heck is that? That looks new. Um, yeah, so, okay, so basically go and do the other trees, right? And what? Whoa. Okay, so... The bleeder... So remember, we read about the bleeder. The bleeder takes energy from the membrane. Or it, it, the, the, it takes excess energy from the tree and shoves it into the membrane. What is that? Is that what CW's working on? This like weirdo science that he's doing? All right, let's. I know. I know how we can look at this. Hold on. Go up here. Oh man, CW. <sighs> You got to tell me some more stuff about what you're doing here, because I, I I can't just go connect stuff and not know. There was a card here, right? Card here. Oh man. Uh, gang, you know what that? Okay, so hold on. Let's just make sure of one thing and one thing only. There is nothing to interact with here. Okay. But you know. Better safe than sorry. So here's what's going on. It's these things. There was like another one of these carts like right here with this stuff. There are like, how many panels are there? There are six panels and weird like contraption metallic things. Okay. By the way, I'm going to call it right now. These are all going to get used because he's clearly building some like evil, evil machine. One, two, three, four carts are going to go. We're going to be able to open the door. Oh, remember? There's another membrane up there. So maybe, 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 maybe we'll be able to go out here, out through this door, go up this way, this way, go up there, and go to the membrane, and maybe that's going to lead us to the bleeder. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, well, that's something to look forward to eventually, and also yelling at CW for, you know, being evil. I mean, we, we called it. He was evil. Yeah, so here's what it is. Six panels, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's the the weird big metal bit, and I, I'm assuming the small smaller metal bit is right here. And of course, he connected back up, connected these things back up, these... Uh, 
what do you call it? These these tracks. I don't know why I, I, I blacked out there for a second. So these, he connected up these tracks so that he can get the cart across. They can then construct this thing. Yeah. Okay. And did he look at this hose? Remember this? Remember when we were fur? Whoa. The tree's not green anymore, guys. Um. What? Hold on. It's like it was orange. Now it's yellow. Come back to green. Come back to green. Anything? Come back to green. Is this the is the bleeder gonna fire? That's the only question I have now. Sorry, I, I uh, this isn't actually anything to do with puzzles. This is just me being completely fascinated by what is going on. Because he's like siphoning energy, right? That what's going on right now? Okay, we're back to green. Great. Sorry, I'm just gonna stay here for like two seconds to see, because it, it, it changed color so fast. And I super apologize for for you know basically making you stare at a tree. You know, next 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 on abduction, we're gonna look at paint drying or grass growing. Although, you know, grass growing is roughly the equivalent of this. Uh, but... Right, it's still green. Uh, what I was saying... I'm just going to keep looking at this, but I'm going to keep talking. So there are hoses now connected. Remember when we were first up here, when we were first looking at that battery, we saw that there were like these weird energy couplers on the side of the tracks. That we... I, at least I couldn't figure out what they did, per se, or how to connect them. And it looks like CW reconnected them. And I'm guessing... It's just connect the cursor. I'm guessing that these hoses now snake underneath these tracks. This is going to be like a watch pot never never boils type thing, isn't it? It's just going to be green to spite me now. So that it, so that this turns into the most boring episode ever. Um, okay. I'm going to keep walking like this. Walking like this. We're, we're making progress. I want to keep looking at this tree. Okay. Okay. Right. I mean, uh, the other... Th yeah, so these couplers, see? And then the, now there's this hose here. So the other thing that I noticed... Uh, that I noticed, I don't know why it was so weird to pronounce that word. That I noticed was... Alright, you know what, no. Forget it. We're not going to keep staring. Oh, there it is. There, see, I, sorry. I turned away and, and luckily turned right back at the, at the right time. So it goes brown right when the bleeder shoots, like hits the membrane with the excess energy that I guess he's siphoning off. All right, we can leave now. Oh, CW, what are you doing, man? I am not down with whatever nonsense you're pulling. Neither was neither was Farley apparently. Just just saying, okay. All right, so let's at least go. Let, let's at least set up the next episode. We have you know five minutes or so left. Let's go to the Valane number machine and let's go read the number sheet. And we'll set up the next episode so that next time, it'll just be. You know, us talking about that puzzle, and then we can move on with our lives. So here we go go um that's interesting also very very disheartening is not the right term because I, I mean you know i'm i naturally suspected cw because you know why not hey man where are you guys around here just out of curiosity like what is your what is your deal all right all right fine they're probably they probably live underneath the scrapyard because there were like these these weird holes over there, but okay. Let's just go ahead. Ah, yes, 406. Clear. Enter. Okay. So let's read the let's read the sheet again, and we'll uh, we'll see what we said. This is a control panel. Limited access control. If you have trouble, remember the valane. Okay. 
Uh, we're not actually going to talk about any of the concepts here. But I'm just going to leave that for next time. Uh, but let's just read it so that it's in our heads, and then we can come back. Okay, remember, the Villain numbering system is base 4. Okay. Now, drag from one blob to another to form the Villain digits. Okay. Drag between blobs to disconnect. Fine. The standard panel has five digits, but single-digit panels are also used. Okay. Use only first digit to simulate a one-digit panel, paren 0 through 3. Fine. All panels will autocorrect for val invalid entries. All right. So those are sort of the rules, the, the given rules for this uh, exercise. But fine. But let's go to photos real quick. Because remember, the mayor, and let me see if I actually still have that. Yes, there it is. The mayor worked some of these numbers, right? This is the one. I think this is the only one we ever really tried. This is 18. This is 158. Okay, fine. This is 5. Fine. Um, and there's no other special explanation. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave it there because, you know, uh, I like to infuriate you guys or and or be a complete tease. Whatever, whichever way you want to do it. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Just leave it open. So we're going to come back to this next time. Next time, what we're going to start with is actually not even these numbers per se. We're going to talk about base 4 because I think we need to understand what base 4 is in relation to base 10, how you convert from one to the other. We're going to learn sort of the long way, the pedantic version of it. Uh, but, you know, the, because that's, I pretty much believe that that's what we're going to end up having to do. We're going to either convert base 4 numbers into base 10 or base 10 numbers into base 4. And that's a bit of a sort of a preview of the, of the basic concept that I think is at work here. The big thing is obviously we're going to have to figure out what the representation on this panel is. Okay, so that's that. Uh, I just want to sort of preface next episode with the following. You know, I, I said that I want to make it optional because, you know, some people don't find that math is their, is something they particularly want to watch, especially on a gaming channel. Uh, for With that said, I encourage you and I would, uh, yeah, I encourage you to watch the episode. I think it'll be pretty interesting. I think we're going to talk about some pretty interesting things. And... You know, to the extent that you're concerned that, oh my God, math, don't be concerned, right? I'm going to set, I'm going to say this next time as well as this time, everybody can do math, especially what is going to be, I suspect, involved here, which really isn't anything more complicated than the basic rules of arithmetic, just with a different way of, of referring to them, you know, especially multiplication. Uh, we're just going to be talking about, you know, power, like the powers of numbers, right? The powers of 10, the powers of 4, that sort of thing. Uh, so, in any case, I encourage you to uh, join me for that episode. It'll probably be up the day after this one. Uh, because I think the, the really, the, the, the biggest piece of work is going to be getting the overlays right. But that's that's on me. Uh, in any case, I think we accomplished a lot, uh, quite a lot. We, we turned on the Captar tree, or we, you know, watered the Captar tree. We figured out that CW is doing some horrifying stuff and let's just go with 406 <laughs> that's the number yeah, okay whatever that is um if you enjoyed this episode you know like comment subscribe i know this was a little bit more uh this was a little lighter in terms of puzzles but you know next time is just gonna be math so you know <laughs> just fyi uh in any case if you think i overlooked something if you want to see something else if you think you know oh don't do the math one i know although i i, I know that you guys have had a pretty positive a response to the the idea that we would uh you know by all means leave a comment everything's welcome and in any case i will see you all next time Better, 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 better.